This is the first video in this series looking at how we will set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. Unlike a traditional wireless router that is only able to reliably broadcast its signal over a fairly short distance, the idea behind a wireless mesh network is that by using a series of interconnected wireless nodes, we can expand our wireless network to ensure that our Wi-Fi is spread more evenly and over a larger area. However, in order for Google Nest Wi-Fi to do this, we will need two separate elements, the router and at least one Wi-Fi point. While in theory our Google Nest Wi-Fi router could be used with a different brand of compatible Wi-Fi point, we decided to purchase the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and point kit. Before we start, let's take a look at the list of specifications listed on the bottom of the box. While the specifications note that Google Nest Wi-Fi uses 802.11s, this is simply the designation that has been assigned to a new type of wireless access point that is compatible with other brands of wireless mesh networks. Instead, Google Nest Wi-Fi is actually using 802.11ac, or as it's now been rebranded, Wi-Fi 5. You also may have noticed that the router is using something called AC2200, while the point is using AC1200. Put in simple terms, these designations mean that any devices connecting to our Wi-Fi point may not be able to transfer data as quickly as a device connected directly to the router. So while we might find that Google Nest Wi-Fi performs well when video streaming and gaming, it may not be so great at transferring large files between different devices on our wireless network. You can see that our Google Nest Wi-Fi kit is designed to provide Wi-Fi coverage for medium to large houses. So by Google's own definition, this would be a house up to 210 square meters in size. Some of the main features of Google Nest Wi-Fi include parental controls, easy setup, and the ability for our Wi-Fi point to behave as a smart speaker. So in future videos, we will be working through these features as we set up our Google Nest Wi-Fi. Let's open the box and take a look at its contents. You can see that the box contains a router and a Wi-Fi point. Let's first take a look at the router, which is the larger of the two devices. As you can see, the router has no physical controls or buttons. However, if we turn it upside down, you can see that we have a wide area network port, a power socket, and a local area network port. On the smaller Wi-Fi point, we have a speaker grill that goes around the base of the unit. You can also see that we have a QR code for quick setup, a power socket, and a privacy switch for Google Assistant. Finally, on the top of the unit, we have four holes for the microphones that Google Assistant will use. Under the router and Wi-Fi point, we have a starters manual. However, you will probably find that the starters manual is not particularly comprehensive. If we open up the next compartment, we have a small box containing a single network cable. We will use this cable to connect our Google Nest Wi-Fi router to our internet modem. We also have the two power packs for our router and Wi-Fi point. As both the router and the Wi-Fi point use the same type of power adapter, both of these power packs are interchangeable. So to recap, in this video, we simply unboxed our new Google Nest Wi-Fi router and point. We then familiarized ourselves with the ports and connectors on the two devices. In the next video in this series, we will be taking a look at how we connect the Google Nest Wi-Fi router to the internet. We will then complete an initial setup of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router to create a wireless network. 